In 1312, when he takes power, he inherits a string of titles. King of Kings. Lion of Mali. And perhaps, most important of all, Lord of the Mines. A survey put Mansa Musa as the world's richest man of all time. They estimated his fortune at some $400 billion. For comparison, Bill Gates came 12th on the list, with something close to a quarter of Mansa Musa's wealth. Mansa Musa is one of the most incredible characters in history, and few of us have ever heard of him. Musa rules an immense African empire. The Empire of Mali had the largest resources of gold known in the world at that time. All gold in the kingdom belonged to Mansa Musa. It was all his to do with as he pleased. Thousands of his subjects toil away in his gold mines. The power that Mansa Musa had is hard to imagine in the modern era. He had the power of life and death over everybody in his empire. In the early years of his reign, rebels and marauding bandits threaten his vast wealth. To protect it, he rules by the sword. by being all touchy-feely. Nothing says strength like a conspicuous display of wealth. 80 camels each carry up to 300 pounds of gold. Slaves carry another 24 tons. Mansa Musa leads the procession on a black stallion adorned in, what else? Gold. Soldiers, servants, slaves, 72,000 in all. It's a long journey in blistering heat across the treacherous sands of the Sahara. Temperatures hit 120 Fahrenheit in the summer and drop below freezing in the winter. The Sahara is massive. If we were to take the contiguous 48, United States of America, you could drop it into the Sahara and there'd still be room around the edges. Many perish in the sandstorms. After nine months, the caravan to Mecca reaches its first big stop, the Gates of Cairo, a financial center of the known world. By now, Mansa Musa has spread his wealth across North Africa. And he's far from done. Cairo has never seen anything like it. If you've got it flaunted, he wanted to show it off. They're like the guy who walks into a bar and buys everybody a drink. Mansa Musa would be the guy who'd walk into the bar and buy the bar and then buy everyone a drink. Mansa Musa spends three months shopping in the world-famous markets of Cairo. He leaves behind tons of gold. By the time he rides out of town, Mansa Musa has changed the world. Mansa Musa spent so much in gold 
that it lost a quarter of its value. It's the only time in history that an individual's spending of gold has devalued a currency for a region for over a decade.